Good evening. This side, Rahul Magan here as a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting and also a Venture Capitalist. As we speak, Treasury Consulting is a multinational headquartered group based out Singapore. We are a professional hedge fund. Rather, it would be better if I say we are a multinational hedge fund who do have exposures in US markets, European markets and Asian markets. Apart from that, we do have exposures in commodities and currencies. But having said that, we are a proprietary hedge fund. By proprietary hedge fund, I mean we take position on our own capital, which predominantly means that no third party, whosoever, you are a venture capital, you are a venture debt, you are a private equity, you are a bank or whosoever, who can take position in our fund. So whatever position we are taking is backed up by our own capital. And now our fund is having dedicated US desk, which means we covering the minutest details of Dow, NASDAQ and Standard and & Poor. And God willing, this would continue. Guys, like I told you that now we are in the world of investment banking. And if you're expecting that this is the only video which I'm shooting, then you are thoroughly incorrect because we would be shooting more videos covering investment banking. Guys, remember one thing very carefully that in investment banking, there is a concept called book running liability. Now, what the hell is that? So let's create a simplistic example. I repeat, let's create a simplistic example. If any big company comes to public, who is currently private, we can say, then investment bankers advertise these companies. They will show the financial numbers of these companies. Example, this company would be two times after two years. This company would be three times after two years. You know, the growth in the revenue would be 15%. They would be launching this product, so on and so forth. So they would conduct the interviews. They would do the interviews on the business channels, on the newspaper, magazines, and not to mention the corrupt media also play a very important role in that regards. It's a common sense because corrupt without the help of the corrupt media, such practices are thoroughly impossible. What happened when these companies fail? So we have lots of examples in the world, just like we have Peloton, we have Rivian, we have Robinhood Inc., we have Zomato, we have Policy Bazaar, we have Paytm, we have Car Trade, and the list is very long. Investors lost common sense because investors always invest hoping that the book running investment bankers did the complete due diligence. They are also not wrong from their side. The reason being, you know, not all investment investors are novice, basically expert in reading the financial statements. So they trust on somebody, common sense. But when this trust breach, there is no loss to these investment bankers, rather the investors bear the burnt. Like very recently, SPAC. We already have a video on the SPAC, but SPAC stands Special Purpose Acquisition Company. 
which is nothing but a blank check company. So once you create a blank check company, you raise the IPO and then you look for the target. So this is an indirect way of doing IPO. Very recently in US market in the last couple of years, 2020, 20 and 21, billions of dollars worth of SPAC, special purpose acquisition companies raised, you know, SPAC raised billions of dollars. And these investment bankers made extensive profit. I have the data, please be rest assured. The data I would be presenting very soon in the public. So please be rest assured. So these investment banks got huge amount of money. I would say tremendous amount of money. You can't believe rather they made billions, to be honest, billions. But actually, once the SPAC model busted, investors lost heavily, tremendously. As we speak, like, you know, today when I was watching Bloomberg, I got to know that a billionaire father and their son, his son, who used to have 25 billion worth of valuation, now it's almost throwaway price. So we need to fix this. And how can we fix this? The only way of fixing is when we will make sure, I repeat, when we will make sure that investment bankers have the financial liability if any financial information is presented incorrectly during the IPO process. And that is not about US or India. This rule has to be ubiquitous that the book running managers should have a financial liability. Today, when Zomato, Paytm, Car Trade, Policy Bazaar, and many more companies who are occurring losses after losses and their share price collapsed. These investment bankers have zero liability. And the whole you know, liability part is passed to the founder. Though iBanks play a very important role. This is Rahul Bagan from Treshi Consulting Group.